A new app is using artificial intelligence to treat scoliosis in children without ever leaving the home. And your favorite chewing gum could be contributing to the ingestion of microplastics. Dr. Malika is on call this morning to explain these health stories and more. Doc, good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you? All right, so let's start with that new pilot program to monitor scoliosis. What exactly is going on here? Okay, so kids with scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine, need to be followed over time to determine whether they need bracing or surgery, but of course that can require multiple trips to the doctor and multiple x-rays. But according to Medscape, a team at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles is testing a new app that allows for radiation-free monitoring at home. So what parents do is they take videos of their children by walking around them three times, then the video is converted into a 3D model and analyzed by AI to determine the curvature of the spine. That information can then be shared with the care team remotely. And they say the new technology can catch worsening scoliosis early and, of course, help monitor how well bracing is actually working. So right. much more convenient for families. Yeah, this AI is everywhere and helping in some cases. Now, you're a practicing physician. I want you to take us in the clinic with what you're seeing in urgent care. This week you saw a child whose mom was worried about a lump behind his ear. That's right. Come into the clinic with me. We see this all the time, concerns about these lumps or bumps behind the ear. And what they are are lymph nodes or glands. We have them actually all over our bodies, including behind the ears. And they contain immune cells that help fight germs. You usually can't feel them unless they become swollen in response to a local infection, say a cold or an ear infection. Then you might feel a pea-sized, round, smooth lump behind the ear that may or may not be tender. We tend to call these reactive nodes because they're reacting to something that's happening somewhere in the body, or sometimes shoddy nodes because they feel like buckshot, although I don't really know what buckshot feels like. But patients are often concerned about them, but they're almost never serious and they will shrink over time. If, however, the lump continues to grow or if it becomes warm and red and painful, then it's time to be seen. Yeah, buckshot is not a comparison we use very often these days. <laughs> and this final <laughs> topic here, this is a little disturbing. Microplastics can be found in chewing gum, so do we need to be worried about this? No, we don't need to be worried, although I have to say I think about it every time I put a piece of gum in my mouth, which is on a daily basis. But, you know, we're surrounded by plastic. It's in our food. It's in our water. It's in the air. And now researchers from UCLA have found that chewing gum can release hundreds to thousands of microplastics per piece into our saliva, mostly within the first eight minutes of chewing. They say chewing gums are made from a rubbery base, a sweetener, flavorings, and other ingredients, and both synthetic and and natural gums release similar levels of microplastics, so you aren't necessarily better off with the natural stuff. Scientists say they don't want to cause alarm because, of course, they still don't know how safe or unsafe microplastics are to humans, but they say the potential risks should be studied further. So keep chewing your gum. Just keep things in mind. My Uncle Walter uttered the famous line in the movie The Graduate with Dustin Hoffman, it's all about plastics. It's all about plastics. Gosh, how prescient from that long ago. <laughs> Dr. Yes. Malika, thank you so much. Great to see you.